celebration, they are celebration. And I mean, and then after that, uh, this celebration is making them prepared for what is next. The doctor will work as doctor, the engineer will be engineer, the lawyer, whatever, you know, accountant, they will have their life to practice what they have learned in their study, the past study. And the study is all from the first day, from primary school, secondary school, high school, uh, you know, uh, college, university is preparing for us to enter to the life, to be strong enough, good enough, fit enough to, uh, you know, uh, 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 be part of the success in this life, to be part of inspiration for others in this life. So I will say it's the biggest challenging for those whom they graduate. And it's a challenging for all of us now when Ramadan come to an end, because what is next is that, that, that will show us if our fasting accepted or not. If our life changed for better, that means Alhamdulillah, our fasting have been accepted. If we go back to the same style before, no more uh, activities, and uh, good activities, spiritual activities, such as fasting, prayer, sadaqah, uh, be kind to others, helping others, if this is going to disappear and it's going to appear only in one month and 11 months is going to sleep, that's ridiculous. We say this is not a good sign. Brothers and sisters, uh, Al-Eid is, they call it Yawmul Ja'iza, the day of reward. The day of award, the biggest reward, as they call it Anugra. In Malay, they call it Anugra, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, when you be giving a word or a big reward or something like that, first of all, you will frame it and you to put it in your house or in your office or your, you know, everywhere to show that you are expert. You are, you are a person who have experienced something in the life and you have received, therefore you have received this award and the people will come to you. And this is, you call it, you're going to be something else. From student, you're going to be a lecturer. You're going to be a teacher, if I may say. So now things is different. The award now is showing that everything for you have changed, your life changed, you as a person become something else. If you are a believer, your level of Iman increased and your duties become different. And you know, this is all something which is in simple, our life is going to be, uh, we are going to have more responsibilities. Now, as I said, uh, we need to see that changes after Ramadan. Because Ramadan, the spirituality is there. I think, I think always all of us during Ramadan, we always enjoy the spiritual endure in the month of, in the month of Ramadan and Mubarak. Although this year was something special for all of us because Ramadan was uh, in different style. Ramadan is still blessed and always going to be blessed. We are always waiting for the blessing of Ramadan to recharge ourselves, to continue 11 months, inshallah, with full of energy. But this year, Ramadan was uh, special because all of us, you know, spend it in different way. We are unable, we are unable to go to Masajid. We were unable to uh, invite other people to our house for breakfast. We are unable to visit others to their houses because of the current situation of coronavirus. But well, I always say, and always we all of, uh, all of us understand that no matter where you are, and no matter what you are, and no matter in where you are praying, Allah is looking to you always. You are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with his knowledge, this situation has, ha has happened. And with his knowledge, it will end. And with his knowledge and with his generosity, our life will go back, I won't say to normal life, to go back better than normal life, inshallah, bidnillah. But if we ourselves, now at the school of Ramadan, one month of uh, closeness with the family this time, one month of being an Imam to lead the prayer, if not ourselves as, as a father, you know, you know, uh, the children, they, you know, the sons, they led the Imam to be the Imam. Uh -huh. Praying tahajjud together in the house. We made mini masjid inside our houses because 
There is nothing who will stop us from praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, we could not go to masjid, but we made uh, a masajid in our place, the qibla, in, in, in inside our house. Naam? So the masjid here is a place of sujood. If we prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter where. And as we said, Allah, he knows about this situation. Now, after Ramadan, this should be continued. I have one brother years ago, he told me something very interesting. He said, because <clears throat> in, during fasting month, especially in Ramadan, we used to, as a family, we have our sahur, you know, night, the, the food, the, the sahur, uh, and then we pray fajr together during Ramadan. Sometimes, unfortunately, I'm very sad to say their families, they might pray jama'ah, especially salat subuh, only in Ramadan because they wake up for eating. You see, why not we pray together? And there are some of them, they're not praying even together. Everyone after food go to his room. I don't know what he's going to do. He watch, you know, movies or yani wasted. But those whom they have, Alhamdulillah, Allah bless them, and they spend a quality time as a family together. Uh, this brother was telling me that uh, after uh, Ramadan, the Eid, the Eid day, first day of Eid and the Fajr time, I was sleeping and I hear a knock on my door. So I say, who's that? It was my youngest son. Uh, he came to me, I opened the door, he said, Daddy, Father, we are waiting for you. He said, waiting for what? He said, waiting for Salat Subuh. He said, I said, he, he told me, the brother said, so I said to my son, uh, but uh, Ramadan is over. He said, are we going to pray Fajr Jama'ah as a family only Ramadan? Now he said, ah, no, 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 we're going to pray. SubhanAllah, the words of that boy affected him. Yes, we're going to pray together. SubhanAllah, this is a change. Now we have to make use of that change. This is a Eid. This is a real celebration of Eid. This time we are unable to buy clothes and go here and there. This time we are unable to make open houses. Uh -huh. Uh, to invite people to our houses and for iftar and we go to people's houses. This one totally different. We're going to be at home. What are we going to do now? This time is different. Our, subhanAllah, it's the aid not to wear new clothes, not to eat always the food here and there. al Eid لَيْسَ الْعِيدُ لِمَنْ لَبِسَ الْجَدِيدُ وَإِنَّمَا الْعِيدُ لِمَنْ خَافَ يَوْمَ الْوَعِيدُ Al-Eid is not for you to wear new clothes. Al-Eid is for you to have the fear in her, your heart from the next. And the next is what? Meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one day. Al-Eid, Ramadan, one month after finish, I mean, month of Ramadan, and worship of month of Ramadan, we are celebrating Eid. I mean, we are celebrating the ibadah of the month of Ramadan, after worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the month of Ramadan, we are, there is a celebration, there is a festival now. That means always, whenever there is, there is a worship, wherever you are among those who worship Allah, whatever you have the good quality of moral character, akhlaq, sadaqah, good uh, behavior, salat, ibadat, uh, learning the Quran, reciting, uh, uh, reading the Quran, recitation of the Quran, Kareem, uh, practicing the Quran, this is considered Eid. And then you will find, if your life continue the life like that, you will find yourself in a biggest Eid, which is Yawm al Qiyamah. Brothers, sisters, we have to pay attention to this matter. Providing our children with food, clothes, universities, uh, uh, house, rooms, devices. This is, we call it looking after. I look after my children. But providing them with akhlaq, this is, we call it bringing up, tarbiyah. And this is the Eid, Yawm al Qiyamah. If we're going to be together like that, that's what's going to decide for us to be with our children whom we love the most and with our parents whom we love the most. This is how the family is going to be close. So brother, sister, this is something which is uh, uh, very, very important to pay attention to. Sayyidina Abu Rajab al Hanbali said, uh, uh, if your month have ended, Ramadan, now your ibadah, make sure that your ibadah have to be increased to say to Allah, Ya Allah, I'm not worshiping you, Ya Allah, in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a month you have provided us as an emergency. I see you. 
intensive care for us to enter to it to, to in order for us to be recovered from our sins, to let go our life of wasting time, life of talking about others, life of involving in unwanted matters to the life of being, as you said, as you want us to be, to be straightforward, to be among al-mukhlisin, al-muti'in, al-munibin. That's how Allah wants you to be, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we have this quality of understanding, this is something we call the reality of Eid and preparing for us to the what is next. Ramadan full of spirit, full, full of spirituality, sorry, full, full of spirituality. Month of Ramadan is full of spirituality, alhamdulillah. Uh, now the spirit of Ramadan shouldn't die at the end of Ramadan. There is no expiry date for the spirit of Ramadan. There is, this spirit have to be uh, always there, alive. Let the spirit of Ramadan be with you. If, if many brothers and sisters now, they said, subhanAllah, this year Ramadan left very fast, which is true. We were worried at the beginning because our, this time, like, because we are unable to go to masjid, spend time here and there, and those people, they go Umrah. See, maybe this time Ramadan would be a bit slow, but in fact, it was faster. It was really very fast, it's gone very fast. I think mo most of you, if not all of you agree with me. So now I, we will say, many people say Ramadan went very fast and we really enjoy the ibadah. We really enjoy being with family. We really enjoy recitation of Khatmul Quran. We really enjoy the gathering in, in, in the house our, with our family, among our family members. We really enjoy, we really enjoy. We really enjoy. So, okay, if you really enjoy, then enjoy later also. <laughs> the ibadah is open. Now, after Eid, uh -huh, the graduation. Now, let, if you want to fast, you have sunnah. Fasting, Monday, Thursday, th three days in the middle of the month. Other sunnah fasting, there are many. Enjoy. If you want to uh, a tahajjud, you enjoy tahajjud. Wait, the night is for you. Allah waiting for you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, you know the meaning of tahajjud. Tahajjud means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day. Uh -huh. I see, for example, we say Hayya ala salah. This we have to pray five times. But this prayer, there is no call for it. The call only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh -huh. This is only from Him for those who they understand the meaning of it. Therefore, you find no one. You say it's not farth. It's not farth for you uh, to practice, but for, for your heart to be changed. If you need a pure heart, Illa man Allah bi qalbin salim, brothers and sisters. So when, when every night, of course, there is a special rewards for Ahlul Tahajjud, for those who they pray Tahajjud, coming for you, your family, your, whoever there in, the, in your town or in your city or your country, those who they pray Tahajjud, the Muslims. So let's say example, example, let's say I give example, there is a hundred thousand of them, you know? So everywhere that they, there is a shares of 400,000 people coming to them. Come to your house, you are sleeping. We'll go back. This one, he's praying. He will take it. He will get his share. But how many people praying tahajjud? Maybe 10 percent. I mean, 10,000, for example. How about 90,000 of shares? Who's going to take it? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives something, he won't take it back. He will give to someone else. Ah. So you'll get your share, and the 90,000 also will come to you. Subhanallah, ajeeb. This is the meaning of tahajjud. This is the meaning of the sweetness of this beautiful school of Qiyamul Layl, which you experience in the month of Ramadan. If the spirit of Ramadan continue with you, you will find yourself, inshallah, praying tahajjud to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always. And you can't wait for the night to come for you to be awake, to be with your beloved, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They ask Majnoon Layla, you know Layla Majnoon, that crazy, the one who, who loved Layla, subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, most of the people, they say Layla and Majnoon. They doesn't know his name. Majnoon is mean crazy. He was crazy because of the hub of, the love of uh, uh, that Layla. He loved just human being like him. And he went out of service. SubhanAllah, Majnoon Layla, they asked him once, once they saw him walking, Say, uh, Majnoon, his name is Subhanallah. No one, most of people doesn't know his name. They call Majnoon because the, the Sifa, the tribute, overtake his name. His name, Qais. 
No one remembers the name, only his sifa, you know. So anyway, they ask him, Ya Qais, Ya Majnoon, from where you came? From where you are, you're coming? He say, uh, from Layla. And they say, where are you going? He say, to Layla. To be with whom? To be with Layla. And you're thinking of whom? I'm thinking of Layla. Allah, Allah. What type of love is this? What type of, what more than that? More than that, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbuna, as he said in the Quran. He loves them. Can you imagine? He loves them and they loves him. What type of love is this? How to experience this love after we celebrate Eid? The next is to experience that love between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he loves you, he loves us. But if he allows you to feel that love, you will be flying. In a, in a sky of uh, uh, mahabba, the sky of supplication, the sky of munajat, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is something different story. Ramadan as an intensive care unit revive us. Ramadan as a, a, a training camp made us ready for what is next. Now we have energy. We've been charged, fully charged. Al-Eid is a day of reward. It's Yawmul Jaiza. You receive the word of al atiq min al-Nar. Imagine with Allah's generosity, Yawmul Eid, the day of Eid, the night of Eid, the day of Eid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given a freedom of, from Jahannam, from hellfire to many of his servants during the month of Ramadan. How many of them each day? Allah alam. But he will give, he will give double 30 times in a day of Eid. Freedom from Jahannam. Allah, what is the, this generosity of Allah? How are you going to receive it and how are you going to deal with it? How, what you are going to do to receive Allah's barakah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Don't think you are ibadah, your sujood and ruku'ah. You are by doing that, you're favoring Allah. Allah is favoring you to ruku'ah for him and sujood, to be grateful to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shukur. You say, Alhamdulillah, ya Allah, you have blessed me with food during the month of Ramadan to eat after breakfast, to breakfast. A family around me. Ya Allah, you bless us that this taste, this bala, not was not to keep us out of our house, but to keep us together with our family inside our house. That, that it's another blessing. Healthy. Our iman stronger, our hope even more uh, during this month of Ramadan because we know you are Arhamur Rahimin. You're the one who made it Ramadan. And you are because you love us. So now it's time for us to show our love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is an exchange of love. How we, what we are going to do? How are we going to re receive these blessings? This is something which really, really we have to consider doing it, brothers and sisters. Uh, if you spend time with Al-Quran Al-Kareem, Al-Quran Allah, don't, yani, don't, don't miss Al-Quran up to that. If Al-Quran was your best friend in Ramadan, let it be with you always. How to call my friend, Al-Quran was my best friend. If you're not going to be with him, you want to be with your best friend. And your best friend, you always call him, you always contact him, you always complain to him. You always tell, you, tell him your secrets and he also will tell you his secrets. If your best friends together, you will get so much things. So Al-Quran Al-Kareem is a, is our best friend. Let it be with you. Al-Habib Al-A'zam Sayyidina Al-Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his prayer, he said, Ya Allah, O oh Allah, I am your servant and the son of your male servant and the son of your female servant. My forehead is in your hand. You are the one who control, you are the one who oh, have control over me. That's me. Ya Allah, my forehead is in your hand. Your judgment upon me is assured and your decree concerning me is just. I beseech you, Ya Allah, by every name. I beseech you, Ya Allah, by every name that you have named yourself with. Or revealed in your book, or you have revealed in your book. Or you taught it to any one of your creation, or you have kept it unto yourself in the knowledge of the unseen that is with you ya allah to make the quran the spring of my heart and the light of my chest 
the removal, the removal of my sadness and cares and the reliever for my distress. That was the dua of whom? Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this, and can you imagine, Ramadan is a month of Al-Quran and Kareem. What we, this is what we are going to bring after Ramadan. This is what's going to be with us. This is the nourishment of Ramadan. كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Fasting is fast for us for what? To reach to what? Piety, taqwa. All of us, Ya Allah, bless us to be in muttaqeen. That's our prayer. Ya Allah, bless us to be in muttaqeen. Ya Allah, you are in muttaqeen. Allah said, Samadhan, to make a muttaqeen. Celebrate your success in the month of Ramadan on the day of Eid. And let us see someone else came out from the school of Ramadan. Someone pure, polite, gentle, nice, uh, generous. Someone whom, if we want to mention about the goodness of akhlaq, we say like so and so. If we want to say about someone who have his life been changed, to say so and so, he have changed after Ramadan. It's great to be said that you have changed after Ramadan, after the school of Ramadan. You graduated from the school. It's very good because you have come up very healthy. There are many people, brothers and sisters nowadays, may Allah save them and bless them with sahha, al-afiyah, speedy recovery. They are in ICU on the hospitals because physically they are sick. Luckily, we are not physically sick and we shouldn't be spiritually sick also. Al Imam Al Ghazali said, the one who his heart got sickness and he died because of that, I mean, physical sickness, he's just life changed from life to different life. Right? But the one whose heart spiritually dead because of his attitude, bad attitude, evil deeds, evil moral characters, na'udhu billah, may Allah protect us all. That one, he is dead in dunya and he is dead in akhirah as well. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. May Allah protect us. Brothers and sisters, Al-Eid is something great. Spend now this blessed moment of Eid with your family by encouraging them because you are unable to go out. You are unable to go. Now there's time also for them, for you to sit with them to say, what is Eid all about? What's the first? Just now as, as we talk. As we explain, uh, uh, call those people. No, Don't, are you unable to uh, go uh, to meet, to go to see them? Now, is if you are unable to do uh, that, you will have a good excuse to call and talk with them. Those if you maybe don't want to go and meet, okay, call. Right? Yeah, and uh, easy to do. Say I would love to come to see you, but I haven't able to do that because of situation. Call them; they will be happy. For those whom they offer you, that please forgive us. We done those whom they're wrong, did something wrong to you, mistakes or something because of little bit of money, because of uh, uh, a small land, especially if it's brothers or sisters. The day of Eid is a day where uh, uh, for 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 us to enjoy, it's and enjoy the closeness and forget about the past because we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah remove our sins, erase our sins. Give us better life and let us be with Ahlul Jannah. If you want to do so, if you want to ask Allah like that, Allah accept, you have to do so for other people as well, just because of one meter or three meter or even one, one, one acre of land, you're going to lose acres of land in Jannah. Why? Be the best. Don't be the bad person. Don't argue for nothing. I know it's difficult. I'm not saying it's, it's very easy. No, it's very difficult. Also, this, the amount of goodness is, is very great because of that. There is one sister's narration in Israeliyat. Israeliyat is a narration we no need to believe and no need to ignore, just to get the wise wisdom of it. They said that uh, Iblis, Mal'oon, and Fir'aun, you know Fir'aun, huh? what he did and he claimed he's God, and, and they, they said they met together. And they were saying, yeah, both of them, they were, you know, arguing who's worst. So Iblis said, you are worse than me. Fir'aun said, no, you are worse than me. Iblis said, you, you claim you are God on this thing. Fir'aun said, you are the one who, because of you, all the creation, you know, having problems. So they continue. And the conclusion, Iblis said to him, okay, there's someone else worse than us. He said, who's that? He said, the one whom his brother 
no matter who is, you know, could be spiritual brother, I mean, brothers, uh, physical brother, in a set, or brother, friends, uh, uh, come and ask for his forgiveness, and he refused. But he was able to do that because of ego. If he's able to do that, yes, do it. If not because of your ego, why the ego? Because the ego is the one who made Iblis reject Allah's order by prostrating to Sayyidina Adam. Illa Iblis Abba was takbar, takabur, ego. Ana khayrun min. Ya Allah, I'm better than Adam. I've been created before him long ago from fire, and he was just created from clay. Iblis said, This is the worst because he has tested, he knows all these things. Brother and sister, we don't want to be in the situation to be in, mid, in the middle between Iblis and Fir'aun, Naudu Billah. Although I just said it's an Israeliat, but the, both of them worse. We don't want to be among the worst also. Brother and sisters, it's a time for us to change ourselves. Don't involve from anyone to things like before. Spend your time in doing something. When the people praises you, that means Allah praises you. When the people say something nice of you because you have that nice attitude or attribute on you, Allah will be happy with you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let the people, when they see you, go, they run towards you. Not when they see someone, they will turn their faces from him. And they will say, oh, it's a bad day for you because I saw so and so. La hawla la quwwata illa but we say it's a good day for me because say, this pious man, this good person, this good boy, this good girl, uh -huh. this is all something can change us. You know, when Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz, anhu, they call him the fifth Khalifa in 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 uh, in a, in a, in, a, in a Eid day, he was he was Amir al Mu'minin, the Khalifa, the Sultan, the King, and he was uh, receiving the people. They came to his. Uh, you know, the congregation to, to say Eid Mubarak. Among them was his son. Most of the people wearing new clothes. His son was wearing very old clothes. The son of the Khalifa, Amir al-Mu'mineen, the Sultan, wearing well. So Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz felt embarrassed and sad because of that. Because of, you know, that's all what he have. This is all, you know, don't think he have lots of money and he had lots of, in his account of Akhira, and in the hearts of the people, of course. So he was a bit sad. So when the son came to him and said, Father, why I saw you like uh, unhappy and sad like that? He said, because, you know, I, my heart broken. When I see all the people wearing nice clothes and you're wearing the old clothes of two, three years ago, they have seen you in the same clothes again and again. The, 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 the the boy said to him, my father, your heart shouldn't be broken. Your heart should be happy because I have done nothing wrong to others. I done nothing wrong to you. I done nothing wrong to my mother. I am always a person who try to help others. This will make you proud. Don't look to my clothes. Look to my attitude. Look to my behavior. Mm -hmm. Those whom they are working at, those whom they know who is Allah, and yet they go against his instruction for the best for the best of dunya and akhirah. Each day across in our life without committing sin, without disturbing people, without hurting anyone, it's considered a day of Eid. Imagine how many days of Eid you will be having that day. Each day we install something good in the hearts of the of people in Yawm al Qiyamah, we're going to see that, inshallah. Let me conclude with this beautiful advices to one uh, father to his son. I, I like this story and I almost everywhere when I go, I will, uh, 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 you know, mention about this story. There is a, um, there was a, a, a father who was a wise man and his son. So they were talking together one day. So the father said to the son, uh, my son, my advice for you, and I hope that you can remember my advice always, is for you to eat the best food always, the most delicious food. And make sure also to sleep in the most comfortable beds. Mm -hmm. 
and to live in the most luxurious houses, the best houses. So the son was surprised and he said to the father, father, I mean, how to do that? How to do that? And we, as you know, we are not wealthy people. We just have, alhamdulillah, enough for our day to be passed at night, alhamdulillah. How to eat the best delicious food, five star and this and you know, most expensive. And then to sleep in a best beds and to uh, live in a most luxurious houses. The father said to him, because you know the reality of this life, mata'al hayat dunya, mata'al guru, something which is not going to be with a decoration. He said, my son, if you eat while you are hungry, that food considered the most delicious food. In Ramadan, long period of fasting, that if you see a uh, cake or bread, you will feel, oh, this is must be very tasty because <laughs> you are hungry. Water is enough for you. If you are, you are too tasty and easy, I want well, that water, subhanAllah, right? Would be very great. So he said, if you eat while you're hungry, that food consider the most delicious food. And if you come back home after a long uh, day of wo uh, working and you are tired, yeah, when you sleep, that bed, anywhere you sleep, that bed considered the most, you know, comfortable beds. I've seen people sleeping in a, in a buses, normal bus, and they snore. They maybe they see nice dreams also. But other people are sleeping in a luxurious beds in a five star, they cannot sleep. You say, SubhanAllah, last night I could not sleep. Why are you sleeping in the best bed? Because this one is easy, right? And the third, he said, and the best house is if you do good to others, you will live in their hearts. And these are the most luxurious houses. Question for us now. How many houses do we possess? How many properties, real properties, properties we have, which is the hearts of the people? May Allah grant us, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have more beautiful properties that are going to be with us in dunya and akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us that the day of Eid will be a day of change, a day of great word from him subhanahu wa ta'ala and may each day of in our life in each night consider day of Eid and night of Eid and we pray to Allah that inshallah with the dua of all of you with the love you have in your hearts we have gained this lots of love in this month of in the blessed month of Ramadan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will see that things will become very easy yes things will settle but who's how are you going to experience that beauty without having in your heart the praise of Allah and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May he subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us with this barakah and make us among the salihin wa salihat. Ameen, ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammadin wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Sorry, brother, it took maybe longer time. Afwan, ma'af. Thank you, Maulana. It's beautiful. Inshallah, it's profound and I think all of us benefit and we learn a lot. Uh, so many things on uh, Idul Fitri, which we call here Hari Raya. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Molana, for the, the blessed and beautiful lecture. We have some questions here, Hamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, I start with it without further delay. Uh, Salam, Molana. I think all of us go through this phrase, phase where sometimes we have the spirit to do a lot of ibadah, especially in Ramadan, which you mentioned just now also. But at times we feel lazy or not in the mood after Ramadan. How do we deal with this laziness we experience outside Ramadan? Should we force ourselves to increase ibadah even if we don't feel like doing it? Can this be a way to train ourselves? I won't say, Jazakallah it's a good question by our brother or sister. Uh, I won't say to force ourselves. I will say to change ourselves. You say month of Ramadan was a month of change. Nothing can be easily happen. And even food, if you want to eat, you have to walk to the kitchen, um, <laughs> prepare the food or the tea and come back. Sometimes we're too lazy. If we are sitting somewhere in the hall, 
uh, and the kitchen is there. I'm lazy to go to the hall to bring food or so ask someone else to get. And that also he's lazy to go. Uh -huh. So laziness is there always in our life, whether it's uh, <laughs> it depends on. So laziness here in me, uh, uh, those whom they lost the opportunity of this life, Yom al Qiyama, you know, they will come and they would love to go back to the life in order for them to pray two rak'ah sunnah. Two rak'ah sunnah, to go back to the life. How we are alive. Is, is something preparing this to account? Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana. Imam Noah, we say because of the tests, because of the blah, we receive some time, huh? we are getting award. Otherwise, we'll go to akhira empty. So sometimes, because of sabur and because of this situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases our level of. Now, if you really enjoy, really enjoy Ramadan and the tahajjud and ibadah and the sweetness of it, we won't let it go. Will we be continue and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show us the barakah of it in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I need little more struggle, little more to do. Uh -huh. And this laziness shouldn't be in our dictionary anymore. Yeah, Inshallah, thank you, Malana. It's uh, beautiful uh, way of explanation, and we should learn that from you, Inshallah. Um, the next question, Malana, you know, in a Malay world, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Usually in Shawwal is a forgiving time, especially on the first day. Ma'af Zahir Batin. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, someone is asking what is the significance of doing it on it? Just now you mentioned about forging back and everything, right? So this is a question where what is the significance of asking forgiveness then on it? Yeah. See, al ulama, they said mm -hmm. it, generosity are types. Among mm -hmm. this generosity, the top of them mm -hmm. is forgiving others because you're favoring them, you know. And then in the meantime, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't let that go without reward. Mm -hmm. And how much you get, you know, uh, these parts of generosity, the reward will be high and you receive the goodness of it. In the meantime, uh, when we ask someone to forgive us, or someone asks our forgiveness, we have to be genuine in accepting or offering. It's just not become a habit. Uh, no, that shouldn't be like that because it will lose its content. It will lose its meaning just to say that. And, you know, third, forgiveness also for those, is Allah forgive the people whom they understand the meaning of forgiveness is not playful. Not someone who doesn't know it just like, <laughs> so when we forgive others, we make sure that this person will understand that we have favored him. And yeah. if you think someone, he is not going to do that if you just forgive him and he will be worst. We are not an angels, we are being human beings. We've been taught how to be wise and how to balance. So I will say that this person, if you misuse our forgiveness, we have to tell him. We have to tell him straight away. If you change, my forgiveness is granted. If no change, don't expect me to forgive you. At the end of the day, if the people careless, it's just to say that. And he, you say, forgive me, and they don't know what the meaning of it. You know, it's a big meaning. It's very polite way to, a generous way to ask people, please forgive me, ma'af zahir batin, and you know, it's good. But it's good if it's genuine. It's, mm. If it's genuine, like I give charity, I give you hadiyah, I give you support, you are in need. Do I need to tell everyone about that? Or I have to be sincere just between me and you? Well, it had to be sincere. Why I should go make send message in what salam alaikum to a brother? He came ask for a hundred dollars because he doesn't have he doesn't have food. I have given him alhamdulillah. <laughs> it will become uh, this man. Yeah, you know. so you have to be genuine from both sides, genuine of offer and genuine of acceptance. May Allah bless us to be always genuine and uh, uh, pure, inshallah. I mean, I mean, I mean, thank you, Molana. Molana, there's this question saying that. Uh, his father is infected with COVID-19 right now. Allahu Akbar. And uh, he's asking you for dua and also yeah, what yeah. advice you have since tomorrow is the last day of Ramadan and Eid is coming, your whole family is sad. Uh, any advice? Uh, the whole family is sad because of the father, you mean? Yeah. Or because of the last day of Ramadan? Just <laughs> I think it's both. <laughs> it's both, <I> <laughs> Yeah, because if the last day of Ramadan, people say we're very sad. I say, okay, you sad because of ibadah, then you continue ibadah after Ramadan, so you'll be happy. Or sometimes <laughs> someone asked me once, he said, 
oh, Ramadan leaving very fast. And we said, uh, we're very sad. I said, do you want Ramadan to be two months? They said, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, uh, of course, for our brother and for his father, may Allah grant him a sihah wal afiyah, speedy recovery, inshallah. And may Allah reward him for the patient, for the sabr he is having. And for all those whom they are sick with this sickness and any other sicknesses, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, grant them speedy recovery. Amen. Allah, you know what is, how we feel and how they feel. Amen. And you are the most generous and you are the most, the, 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 the most merciful. So we ask you, Ya Allah, for, uh, to bless us with good health. And with Amen. that good health, let our praise to you and our gratefulness to you also to be increased, inshallah. May Allah bless you, speedy recovery. I mean, I mean, I, I've read, maybe you or most of you have seen in TV, there is uh, one, someone, he's near, he's age 90 something, 98. Uh, he recovered from, you know, and uh, he got this Spanish flu before, you know, and wow. recovered. And now this one also recovered, 98. Okay. And the other one in Belgium, if I'm not mistaken, the news, she's her age, 103 years, also recovered. Yeah. There are people who say he affected nowadays. This is another message because when I say someone's sick with that, people, ah, oh, what happened? And then maybe after he recovered, they don't want to see him. What are you talking about? This is sickness yeah. can be there and the cure also be there. Allah Shafi Shifa, I mean Allah subhanahu yeah, Allah. So this is a lesson also for us to understand this situation, you know. And grant yeah. me Allah grant us sihah wal afiyah. Amen. Allah grant him sihah wal afiyah physically and spiritually, inshallah. Amen. Thank you, Mawlana. Inshallah. Amen. Uh, the next question, Mawlana, is uh, if I have forgiven the person due to the sake of Allah and the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but I still afraid, afraid to get near to the person because uh, he or she has been fitnaming me for many times. So, is that okay if I don't meet the person? You did something good by forgiving. Khalas, okay. Al Imam al Ghazali <laughs> in Ihya Alumuddin said the friends are three types. One is like uh, what we call it food. You yeah. can't live without it. Huh? Yeah. Second, one, one like medicine. You are, when you are sick, you need it. And one like disease. No need to, to see that disease, right? To be away from it, all right? So, but he said there are three people. So if you think that someone, you did your part, forgive, alhamdulillah, khalas, when you meet, salam alaikum, salam, that's all. <coughs> no need to go deep. That's not that mean to go deep. Because some brothers and sisters ask me, okay, I have this problem with this family. I have with my in-laws, you know, she or he. You did your part, alhamdulillah, as Allah instructed you as a believer. That's a good part. You did, alhamdulillah. Later on, if they uh, uh, ruin that uh, 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 kinship or this, you know what you did, that's they are, and Allah will be in charge. Because don't think that Allah will, you know, will be happy. It's not only for us to forgive and uh, forget. For, forgive and get. You know, get, you get the reward from Him. And Allah is watching, subhanahu wa ta'ala. If someone misbehave or misuse the meaning of forgiveness, May Allah protect us. I don't want to say anything, but it will be a big problem for him. Thank you, Molana. The next question, Molana, is that due to the pandemic, it's been uh, one and a half month, I've lost my job. And I don't know how I'm going to get my job. I have five children. Uh, what's your advice for me in terms of spiritual, for me to keep that spirit high besides my prayer to continue yeah. this? Journey, to continue serving my family for Nafka and so on. Inshallah. We have, we have a good intention to be in charge of people and he is asking for risk. You will say to him, as you have got your first job, which you have lost, you will get another job, inshallah. Bi'idnillah. Al-Razzaq, the sustainer is alive and he knows. And it will, the risk will come. وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا What we call this verse, I asribu dinar. Dinar. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more than three dinar. It's everything, you know. But he said, "Woman yet taqillah." You taqwa. Taqwa is what strong believe that Allah will open for me. Yajal lahu makhrajan. Allah will find an exit for him. And he Subhanahu wa Taala. Yani Alhamdulillah. There will be a good opportunity. Bismillah Subhanahu wa Taala. There are lots of stories about this. So 
inshallah razak with his baraka he will bless him with way and let him do just the ibadah first search sa'i that's it and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessings say allah you know what uh, I, I am a servant of yours i'm slave of yours you have given me this responsibility to look after this family mm -hmm. yeah allah help me to do so you are arhamur rahimin you are razak and then do Subhanallah, and he will find not one offer, maybe two, three offers coming to him, inshallah. Amen. Amen. Ya Allah, Ya Kareem, Ya Kareem, Ya Kareem. The next is Malana about the six days fasting in Chawal. Mm. <laughs> this guy, he said that I always try to fast six days in Chawal, I feel, because so many things happening in Chawal. But this time in under pandemic, I'm hoping that I get. To do it so um what is your advice for the to discipline myself in order for me to achieve that six days uh six days fasting in shawal i think this this time will be easy inshallah as you said <laughs> because you know <laughs> and i will prefer if we can do it just after ramadan mm -hmm. don't wait until sometime we wait today i'm eating you know i'm like this i'm like that i'm like this and then you see that 30 days of shawal finish and cannot but i will prefer if you do that together with family you know all together all of them to fast in one time and use monday and thursday alhamdulillah that will be great start like this monday i don't think so we can uh, because sunday is allah alam da'id inshallah monday you are able to fast but if in case of you know you still people say okay no it's a celebration it's okay you know although there will be no open house on this thing so we won't be able to go here and there to eat all this type of food no more bazaar no nothing but if we try if we try inshallah monday thursday the th next thursday monday will be easy inshallah but believe me this time of ramadan inshallah this time of shawal will be very easy for everyone very easy inshallah thank you Malana. i think uh that's about it Malana, the question so, May I add Allah. something, inshallah, yes, for this? Because sure, we are sure. talking about Eid, if you don't mind. Salatul Eid. Yes. Salatul Eid. This is a good question. Salatul Eid now, because most of people, all of them, are unable to go to Masjid to pray due to this demand. And better to stay at home, because for the uh, healthy and physically, uh, physically and uh, healthy and uh, physical and spiritual uh, good health, better to stay yeah. at home and, you know, protect yourself and others. Uh, it's, it's good to pray Salatul Eid together with family, you know, uh, choose a time, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, it suits time, it's before Zuhur time, you know, the morning time, that's the best, of course, early morning, we pray together with the, uh, the family, and if you're able to give a little bit of lecture, I will say after that, like, how we used to, we used to attend, and always Salatul Eid here, and so, all of our life. Now it's time for us to practice. We can't say, oh, how to pray Salatul Eid. And then what we used to do then, before. Now the, we used to be ma'mum, today we're going to be imam. As in Ramadan, what's happened to us? Yeah. Uh, after that, alhamdulillah, we as a family, blessed to be together. We have spent Ramadan together, hopefully. Just nice advice, that's all. Ramadan is, Eid is, Eid is just to mention about Allah's Rahman, may he subhanahu wa ta'ala give us, nah, yani, and then you'll find this is something if they can do will be great. And Salatul Eid, as you know, is very simple. I will just uh, in, 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 in one or two minutes explain. Usallif, Sunnat, Eid, Rak'atayn lillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Simple, right? Imaman, if he's Imam, and the one who's Imam. As normal, hope, right? Allahu Akbar. That's first, Takbir, Takbiratul Ihram. After Takbiratul Ihram, there will be seven. Okay. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, seven times. In between each one, we say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allah, 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 Allah. And then you read Al Fatiha and Surah, whatever you know. Okay? And what do you know? Inna Atayna Kal Kawthar, Kulhu Allah. The second rak'ah, the second after the, 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 from Qiyam, the Takbiratul Qiyam, Allahu Akbar, five times. First one is seven. Tawaf. I will say seven tawaf, seven days of the week. Next one, five time prayers. So to remember it. All right. After takbir to lihram, we stand. Allah Akbar, this is after you, you come out from your uh, 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 sujood, and then five times this time. And again, Al Fatiha and Surah. Alhamdulillah. That's it. Very simple. And you get the word. Reward of it is praying the Sunnah of Sayyidina Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you are alone, you are able to pray. If you are your family, able to pray. So no issue, inshallah. 
Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Maulana Kodish. May Allah bless you. Uh, before we end, we need you to make a closing du'a. Amin, amin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabb, laka alhamd kama in baghi al-jalali wajhika wa li'azim sultanik. Allahumma salli wa sallim mubarik ala Sayyidina Muhammadin al-Fatih lima uhliq wal khatim lima sabaq wal nasir al-haqq bil-haqq wal hadi ila siratika al-mustaqim wa ala alihi wa sahbihi haqqa qadri wa maqdari al-azim. Salatan turdika wa turdih wa turda biha anna. يا أرحم الراحمين في شهرنا هذا في ليلتنا هذه في أوقاتنا هذه في مكاننا حيثما توجدنا يا رحمن الدنيا والآخرة اللهم إنا نسألك يا أرحم الراحمين موجبات رحمتك وعزائمة عزائم مغفرتك والغنيمة من كل بر والنجاة من كل والنجاة من كل ثم الفوز بالجنة والجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم بارك في أحوالنا وأقوالنا وأزواجنا وذرياتنا اللهم إنا نسألك الصحة والعافية وتمام الصحة والعافية والبركة في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم شافنا بشفائك وعافنا بجماع من جميع بلائك اللهم اكشف عنا يا الله واصرف عنا يا الله واذهب عنا يا الله البلاء والوباء والعاهات والآفات والأمراض والأسقام الظاهرة والباطنة والمحن والفتن ما ظهر منها بطن يا رحمن الدنيا والآخرة اللهم ارحمنا فإنك بنا راحم ولا تعذبنا مولانا فإنك علينا قادر والطف بنا ربنا بلا طائف لطيف لطفك الخفي يا لطيف بخلقه يا عليم بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه والطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيف لم نلتفنا فيما نزل إنك لطيف لم تزل طب بنا من المسلمين وارض عنا يا أرحم الراحمين وارض عنا يا الله اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا في رمضان وعبادتنا في رمضان اللهم بارك لنا في العيد واجعلنا من عبادك المصلحين الصالحين هداة مهتدين لا ضالين ولا مضلين وافتح علينا فتوح العارفين يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار برحمتك يا عزيز يا غفار يا الله bless us bless brothers and all brothers and sisters grant us all all of them good health for those Amen. for those they are sick ya allah grant them Amen. speedy recovery and for Amen. those they are healthy allah bless them to be grateful to you for that good health and for those Amen. they passed away or beloved one ya allah grant them highest position in jannah grant them the shafa of sayyidina mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah protect all the humankind protect all Amen. humanity ya allah, Amen. let them let although they have faced this uh situation but ya allah we ask you to unite their hearts to be more Amen. mindful to to their duties in this world towards each other the rich to the, poor, the powerful to those whom they are hopeless ya allah Amen. grant us full barakah and ya allah bless those whom they sincere in their work those doctors those researchers to find the vaccination and the medicine Amen. For the sicknesses, be rahmatika ya rahman rahimin. Amen. 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 Taqabbal minna wa arda anna ya kareem. Wa salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sallam wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Thank you, Maulana, once again. Eid Mubarak. Selamat Hari Raya. Ma'am Zaybati. Sama-sama. Ha-ha-ha. 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 Ha-ha-ha.